Hello, so in this video I'm going to be making a 2D tractor. So this tractor is going to be quite basic and it's going to be made up of rectangles or rectangular prisms and boxes. The only thing that aren't rectangular prisms or boxes are the circles for the wheels. So what you want to do first of all, since it's 2D, you want to go to the top view. So you're looking straight down at it. So now you want to drag out a box and you want to make it 40 across. Like so. Like so. And you want to keep it at 20 high. So now you want to drag out a cylinder and you want to put it there. So it is one quarter, so one quarter of it is in the thing. Then you want to move the cylinder in by two and it should look something like that. Now you want to add a little plate for the driver's feet to go. And you want to shrink it down to, right, no. First of all, you want to, um, if I just made that 20 again, you want to make sure the two black lines that you can see here and here are on top of each other, or at least very close to it. So as you can see on mine, I was lucky enough that they're on top of each other. But um, sometimes you'd have to go down to edit grid down here. And you would have to lower it from one millimetre to maybe half a millimetre or quarter or maybe, um, yeah, or so on. So uh, until you get it so it's in line or at least almost in line. Then you want to lower it down so it is um, five millimeters high and you want to leave it at 20. Then you want to move it in by one and you can group for that. And now we're going to add the exhaust pipe. So this is four millimeters and it is 10 millimeters high. You want to move it down, oh it doesn't matter now, and then you want to grab another box, you want to make this one two, and you want to leave it at 20. So then you want to align, you want to push it in the middle, and at the bottom. So now if you um, group them together, it looks a bit like an exhaust pipe and then you can put it in wherever you think looks best. So I think that looks good so I'm going to group it and it looks like that. So now you need to add the back wheel. Now the reason why you haven't grouped the front wheel is because you want the back wheel and the front wheel to be the same height above the ground so um the back wheel is 30 by 30 and it is 30 across so now what you want to do is you want to grab both of them and you want to align it so they are both on the same line because otherwise you're um tractor would be tilted and then it wouldn't really look like a tractor that much because tractors both wheels are um both wheels are on the ground at the same height so it's flat and, and yeah so you want to move this big wheel out so it is like that so it's just touching this block and then you want to move it in by 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and it should look something like that then what you want to do is you want to group the wheels on like so 
and now we want to add the seat. So a seat for our tractor is just a block. You want to make it um, too high or too wide, and it is um, twelve long. So you should be able to bring it down and you want it so it is if I pull it out three I mean four in one two three four and then we just want to move it down to there and now we can group that or actually we want to move it five in and then we want to group it and now we're going to add the steering wheel so the steering wheel is um two um i mean the steering wheel is no well, the pole that the steering wheel is on is three and then the actual length is eight so it should look something like that and then you want to tilt it 45 degrees so it should look something like that Okay, so now you need to edit it again. So it's eight and three. Because as you can see, it changes when it gets um, on the angle. And then you want to put it into your block. So it should look like that. And it's the edge is perfectly on it. And you want to add the actual wheel. Um, as I said, the door seat is a bit too far forward. I need to move it back. Um, so I move back to, or like so. Now we can group everything together, and we can add the actual wheel. So if you want to, this could be the last part of your tractor. But I'll show you something quite cool if you want to make it a little bit more advanced. So you want to make the wheel one thick and you want to make it so it is um you want to make it so it is um five cross you want and then you want to push it onto here. Now as you can see in it's one too far. Um, yeah, move. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to just edit our grid slightly. So if you go down here, click. Whoops. Um, yeah, I made a mistake. When I said edit grid, you need to change the snap grid. So, um. What you need to do is you need to change it to let's say 0.5 and you just need to move it out. So as you can see we've made ours um we've made our steering wheel rod a bit too thick. So if we just click on it, make it a bit thinner. So let's make it seven. Now let's move it back in. Yep. And I think it's got a bit too much of a curve. So how you fix this problem is if we grab a box and we can just move it in right next to that. And then we just get that one and that one and just group those two only. So it looks like that. And then you can group everything else. So now you've got your tractor. So it's a pretty cool tractor. But if you want me to show you a little addition, um, you can continue watching. So to do this addition, what you need to do is you need to grab a box. And you need to grab a cylinder. 
So what you want to do for this is you want to make it so the box is taking up a quarter of the cylinder. Like, um, so you should be able to notice, like so. And then you need to make the cylinder a hole and group them. So as you can see now, our block has got a little curve in it. So what we need to do is just make this block maybe um, 5 by 5. And we just want to move it onto here. So now if we align it, so now if we make it a hole, sorry, and then if we put it like that, and then group it, oh what, and then just make it so that the curve is up at the top and up on the side, and then you should be able to group it, and just adds a little curve to it, so it just looks a little bit nicer. So as you can see, um, I've missed it slightly. It's got a little bit of a, um, it's made a little bit of a thing there. So you can, it's just trial and error. You just undo it and maybe turn your snap grid down to 0 0.1 and just move it back. Whoops. Um, and just move it back one and back one move back to and then see if that's made it made a clean cut yeah so that's made a clean cut now so as you can see our, tr our tractor is finished and i'll see you in the next one